Our sport day has been a very good evening and welcome to today's edition of KTN Sports. My name is Moses Wakisi. Today we start on a football note where coastal side Bundari FC assigned two players ahead of the Kenya Premier League. The second leg match against KCB this Saturday. The Dockers have finished the first leg on the 10th position with the 20 points, having lost to five matches and won a similar number. Bundari has been unable to find their footing in the Kenyan Premier League this season. The side has only won five matches from the 15 matches they played during the first leg. And head coach Tahir Muhyiddin is under pressure to reverse the downward trend during the final leg. Tungependele sana kwa katika nafasi tano bora msimu kisha. Na tunajitaharisha vilivyo. Kuna wachezaji ambao walikuwa wana uzoefu wa ligi kuu na wameshopata. In an effort to ensure the side puts aside its dismal show, they have signed two players who will replace John Dirangu and Mohamed Mochiponi, who have since left the team. Moedin is optimistic his side will improve in the second leg, which starts this weekend. Bandari leaves Mombasa on Thursday for their Saturday match against Kenya Commercial Bank KCB, handled by former Bandari coach Rashid Shedu in Nairobi. <laughs> kwamba tutapata kutakuwa na marekebisho fulani katika mambo ya uamuzi sababu sio sisi pekee yetu ni timu nyingi zimelia na kuna ushuhuda kwamba jambo hili la uamuzi linafaa kupatiwa ni kipaumbele the players are in the right frame of mind to finish among the top 8 teams while improving last year's 13th place finish na kwa ngumu ile awamu ya pili naweza kusema sababu watu wameshaona pia uh, mapungufu yao nini wanahitaji kuboresha nafasi zao na wale ambao wanawania nafasi zile nane bora uh, wanazidi kwa wagumu kwa hivyo haitakuwa rahisi nchi zitajitahidi vilivyo kwa sababu tuna shabaha ya kutekeleza Bandari are on a winning mood after they edged out Savannah to nil last Sunday to advance the second round of the Go TV Shield Cup at Mbaraki Sports Club. Hassan Juma, KTN Sports.